everyone, I'm Adri and I'm only dressed in this nice blazer while staying inside because I'm about to declutter my wardrobe and my clothes and get rid of a lot of them hopefully and I want to take you with me on this journey so as you can see here I've got a lot of clothes on hangers I do not use them constantly I think I use half of them on a daily basis in order for them to be here and accessible and easy to just pick up, get dressed and leave. So I'm thinking of ways that could make me have less clothes on this clothing rack and have the ones that I wear the most. So let's start by talking about this blazer, which I love, but it's so, so formal. I will keep it in the rack just because I will try to wear it more often, but I think it starts to get too formal for my style. This side is my boyfriend's side, so we're just gonna get rid of it. And then we have my side, which may seem like it's just a few clothes, but the truth is I have multiple hangers on one hanger, so like this one, I have four pieces of clothing in here. And I recommend you guys these hangers if you don't have that much space, because you can hang as many as you want. It tends to get a little bit heavier, so you might consider if your clothing rack is sturdy enough to hold them. But I bought mine for Amazon and it's an industrial one, so it's the kind of ones that they use in retail shops. What I decided to do was actually take off all the former clothes that I usually only wear at big events that happen like three times a year maybe at most. And I'm gonna take them off from here and put the ones that I use on a daily basis to just make my life easier and I'm just gonna try some of them on maybe they don't fit me anymore so just gonna move this baby here and I'll actually keep this one because I really like how it sits on me I think it's really nice and I will be able to take this one when I go for shopping and like with baggy jeans and sneakers or something so I will keep it and if I don't wear it in the next six months I mean no if I don't wear it six months after we are able to go out then I'll throw it away. This is another one that I was thinking to give to charity, but actually I fell in love with it again. And I'm sorry, but I think this is what is gonna happen with most of my clothes because I'm not a kind of person that buys things on impulse. So if I buy something, it's because I really like it and I know that I will wear it and I know that it goes with other clothes that I already have. So this one, I love it. And I've gained a bit of weight in this quarantine and before. I'm working on loving my body and I think this dress is making my body look how I wanted it to look. It's elegant, but it's short, so I like it, I'll keep it. This dress I love and I hate. It's the only thing in my wardrobe that I have bought and I knew I wouldn't wear it. It's the only thing, I've never done that before. I usually buy, as I said, things that I know I will wear in the future and I usually do wear them a lot. But this one I bought because my boyfriend insisted and I love it, I, I really do. It's really nice, but it has two problems. One, I don't know where I'm supposed to wear it because I don't feel comfortable going like that to like uni or my work because I feel like it's very different from my style and it's, it has this detail when I lift my, my leg up that's kind of sexy, so I wouldn't really use it for like grocery shopping but at the same time the second most important failure about this dress is the fact that I can't really zip it up on my own so there's like a huge gap here that's supposed to be zipped up and I think my boyfriend will be able to help me with that but if I want to wear it and dress up by myself without his help then it's gotta be a bit difficult so I have to wear it when I'm going somewhere with him now this is a sensitive topic, I uh, just hold this here because I don't currently have some clothes on but this is a dress that I absolutely love. It's a dress that gives me girl power vibes, it's very office but it's very tight and this pink is so beautiful. I'm not really a fan of pink that much but it's so beautiful but it's not getting in in any shape or form. I used to wear it like six years ago maybe. I only wore it like once because I was too young for it and now I feel it's like the perfect dress for me, I would love to wear it, but it's just too tight and I love it and I always kept it and thought, well, I will lose that weight, I will, I will be fit and I will be able to wear it, but no, I won't and that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. We lose weight, we gain weight, so the only thing that we have to do is love our bodies 
and I won't keep this as a promise that I don't love my body now, but sometime maybe I will. No, I love my body now and out of respect for it, I will give this dress away just because I'm not able to fit in it. And even though I love it, I'm sure there are so many other ones in the store that I can buy and love as much. This is another dress that is just wonderful. Like the way that I can spin in it, how classy it is, how girly it is, but at the same time, I like how it fits on me. I love it and I've never worn it. And when I say I never wear an item, that doesn't mean that I bought it because this one, for example, I got it as a gift. So I got this one and I love it. And I think it's one of my favorite dresses just because I like the way I look in it. I, I feel very pure in a way and very girly and feminine. But at the same time, as I said, I think it's a bit too formal for my style. It's not the type of dress that I would just go on to a walk in the park. So I will put it in a box and know that it's there for where I can like have an event or like have a purpose for it because it's so beautiful. But it doesn't deserve to be on the rack just because it's beautiful because I don't wear it. This is a dress that I've worn so many times. I've definitely gotten my money out of it. But I will give it to charity because it just makes me feel uncomfortable in my body and that's not what I want to go for. It shows my belly in a way that I, I don't want to portray. So yeah, it's super sexy and I used to wear it a lot to the beach because it's got this, I don't know, for me this is a beach vibe. B-E-A-C-H, not the other type of bitch. I will give it to charity and hopefully someone will, will wear it. So this is the first red dress that I will give to charity because even though I love the top part of it, I'm not extremely passionate about the bottom side of it because from the side my belly looks fine but from the, from the face it just makes my belly button look funny like it's just sinking it in and like I only want to keep clothes that make me happy. Isn't that what Marie Kondo is all about? <laughs> And this is the only dress that I'm gonna keep out of my red dresses stack but I'm gonna put in a box and wear whether it's like an event or something because it's very formal, it's very elegant. I wouldn't wear this, like where? Why would I wear this? I, I only go to uni, work and like walking around London and I don't think that it's fit for any of these purposes. This dress I would have loved if it would be like this but the way it actually is I don't think it's flattering on me I don't see myself wearing it, so I'm just gonna donate it. And the thing is, I think it's very important that you shouldn't get attached to your clothes. I mean, yes, maybe you've worn them in like a really special moment of your life, but that's what pictures are for. Just take lots of pictures with you in it if you liked it that much and if you like yourself in that moment, because we are not actually attached to the piece of material. You're not like, oh my god, I love this red silky material. No. I love the fact that I wore it on my first date with my boyfriend or that I wore it where I got engaged or whatever. But take pictures of that moment if you really like it. You don't have to keep a piece of fabric just to remind yourself of a moment. This is another one that although I feel like it's perfect for London because it's kind of thick and it won't blow up when the wind blows. But again, it makes me feel uncomfortable about my body and that's not the look that I'm going for. I want to feel beautiful anytime with anything that I wear and this is not one of the pieces that will make me feel beautiful so donating it is this one I kind of forgot about is for me this is the line between too formal and able to wear on a daily basis because I feel like I can accessorize it down a bit I can put like some sneakers or like some I don't know make it less elegant and I can also accessorize it up and make it very appropriate for a party or a wedding or something like that so it's that kind of thing that you can just play with it and I think it's very nice to have pieces like this in your wardrobe it helps you a lot because you don't have to have a nice dress for work a nice dress for a wedding a nice dress for a party you just have one that's good for all of the occasions and that's very useful for you this one used to be like that and if it were like that I wouldn't wear it but with a belt that it did not come with, I just bought it separately. So by tying it and putting this bow like nicely, I think it could work and you can even put it on the shoulder and like have no strap, have straps, however you want it. It's kind of short so it's like nice and funny and bubbly and I like it, I'm gonna keep it but I'm gonna put it in a box where the other formal clothes are because I won't wear this to work because it's too much. Same old problem, it's a nice dress, but it's just too tight, too short. I think it's a bit too short for like office environments 
and it's too tight if I go all the way up. This one is the same as I said for the pink one, perfect for London, because it's tight, it won't blow away when the wind blows, and it's quite thick, so you can wear it on this changing weather. So right now, it's like super rainy, and two hours ago I think it was super sunny, so you never know what's gonna happen in London, but I think this is the perfect one for it. However, I will give it to charity just because of these horizontal stripes. I think this dress makes me look like I'm just a cube. If I put my hands around this area, you can see that I actually have a waist, but when I take them away, the waist disappears with them. So this dress is not for me, but I'm sure someone will love it. This one I'm only gonna keep and see if I wear it in the next like six months because I like the vertical stripes. It looks like I'm taller than I actually am and slimmer. I like how it looks around this area and I also like this detail. So it's got like this cut out opening here that is pretty nice. But something tells me that it's not my best dress and I don't love it. I like it, but I don't love it. So I'm gonna keep it, see if I wear it in the next six months after we are able to go out and work freely. And uh, if I want, I'm gonna get rid of it. This one, first of all, it's a weird shape. It's like asymmetric. You can see it has like this longer sides and the middle is like a bit cut out. So it's got a weird shape. And again, the horizontal stripes. When I bought this dress, I was super skinny. It wouldn't bother me. I couldn't care less about horizontal uh, stripes. Now that I've gained some weight, I'm like, wait a minute, they need to go. I'm only about the vertical stripes and I recommend that you do the same because they give you this nice illusion that you are taller, you are slimmer. You are... This one is, I think, my most elegant dress that I own. And I've only worn it once at a huge party. It was amazing. I love it. I love how it fits. It still fits nice. And the thing that I like the most is that it has these creases and they hide what you don't want to be seen. So when you turn this way, it's just a bunch of creases. It's not like a little belly. So it's perfect. This one is one of my favorite dresses. And for me, this is fall, autumn, however you want to call it, in a dress. It's just so beautiful. It's so delicate. And I love how it looks around this side, around the neck area. I think it's very feminine and classy and I cannot wait to wear it. I've never worn it and I'm just waiting for people to like get married, have babies, do some parties. I was thinking about it. I'm 21. So it's the age, it's a weird age when some people get married, some people have babies, some people still get drunk every night and nothing is wrong but I'm just waiting for these people to get married so I can wear all these formal dresses that I have. This one I can really zip up on my own and of course you're supposed to wear it with no uh, bra or, or with an invisible bra but I will keep it but I'll just keep it in my formal well even though I can dress this down I can put like a jean jacket and some converse or like some sneakers and make it super chill so now let's talk about bottoms and this is a skirt that I bought back in Romania and actually like a lot still I haven't got the chance to wear it but I even like it with this like t-shirt on Another one that I didn't really wear, and I regret it now because it's taking a little bit of weight, it's extremely tight, like it's almost uncomfortably tight. But I will keep it because I actually like it and I've been looking for a black jean skirt like this for a while and I like the way it sits on me, it's not the one that just keeps on going up and up and then you're in your underwear, so it's a really nice fit, so I'll keep it. This is a kind of skirt that again has horizontal stripe, but I wanted to show it to you because I will keep it because it has this kind of elastic band, like a sculpting skirt, so it kind of hugs my body in nice in a nice way, and I'm gonna keep it for that. But I just wanted to to show that horizontal lines are not always horrible and you have to run away from them. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. This is the kind of skirt that I always thought I want to wear, but I've never worn it and it's nice, it's just, I don't know, something is off about it. So I'm gonna donate it because I've never worn it. I mean, I've worn it a couple of times, but not enough times to be like a, a staple in my closet and be like a favorite of mine. So and these are the last jeans that I'm gonna wear, that I'm gonna keep. I was excited to start wearing them again because they were too summery for London. 
So I am excited to start wearing them again. And yeah. that sums up our video today. But I have this box that I keep in my wardrobe and I'm gonna put all the formal dresses in it. And looks like I have some. I'm gonna, of course, put them nicely in it. But for now, I'm just gonna shove it in there. And I'm very proud to say that all of this is going to charity. And to be honest, I was not expecting this much. And I'm proud of myself. I hope this pile of clothes in my hands now is gonna motivate you to declutter as well. Because I think it's very important to declutter once in a while because we tend to get stuff that we love. That's perfectly fine. But after a while, we may change. We may love or not love anymore that item that we we bought and that could happen in two months or in two years but that's perfectly fine we change our tastes and i think we should adapt to our new selves it feels so fresh to get rid of some items and get some new ones in